Hey, Trevor Matthews here again with another Two Minutes with Trevor. I did a video on the internal components of a discus compressor. Now I kind of want to show you what it looks like. And there was something that I did forget to talk to you about. So we talked about the internal pressure relief. So this separates the discharge and the suction in case someone ever shuts the discharge valve and blows the discharge pressure into the suction. It goes right in here, right into the discharge port. The other things we talked about is the, vin the vent valves. There's two in the 6D compressors and this does a Venturi effect and puts pressure inside to the body. This is the motor compartment, the body. So make sure there's two PSI higher in here than in the crank. So oil flows through this free floating check valve. So you're always getting oil into the oil pump. If you can see it right here and the oil pump can feed the, the crankshaft and all the journals. What I didn't talk about in that video though, was the oil screen and oil screen protector. So important. So right here's the oil screen. And this oil screen can get plugged up very easily. And when you do clean it, you need to make sure when you put it back in that the, the slit is pointing down of the protector. I'm gonna do a closer up shot. So see how it's pointing down? You could put it in backwards like that. But do you see how it falls in place? It needs to be pointed down so it can pick up if you're running low on oil so you can feed those journals and always have it lubricate. I'm gonna throw in the description a semi-hermetic troubleshooting training. I did a really quick training showing you some quick tips and tricks on semi-hermetics. I'd love you to subscribe to the channel. I'd love for you to hit the like button. Let's get a conversation going.